I'm reading from Sirach, which is kind of like Proverbs. It's in the Apocrypha. Um, it says, Riches are good if they are free from sin. Poverty is evil only in the opinion of the ungodly. This week I saw that Amazon is going into the pharmacy business. And that means they're going to have a lot of access to sensitive data about people. And um, it also means that they're taking on a very, very big industry. A while back I told them, I said, you guys need to really think about what you're doing if you're growing. Because um, if you keep doing this, I'm going to encourage people to boycott you. Now, unfortunately... I'm not going to use Amazon anymore. I encourage other people to stop using Amazon. It's actually pretty frustrating because I don't use Netflix because I don't have any money. Um, and now I can't use Amazon and I have to cancel my account. The thing is, according to Sirach again, uh, like a decoy partridge in a cage, so is the mind of the proud. And like spies, they observe your weakness. For they lie in wait, turning good into evil, into worthy actions... They attach blame. The question is, why is Amazon going off and doing something like this? Why would they uh, risk a boycott? Well, I think, for one, they don't really have an option, right? They have to grow. It's just the nature of a uh, stock market is grow or die. Um, maybe it's just the nature of Jeff Bezos, which is when I don't know all I know for sure is what Sirach says do not envy the success of sinners for you do not know what their end will be like you know there's another verse in the Bible that says the last shall be first and the first shall be last I don't think that just because you're in the front means you're always going to be in the front. And am I saying that uh, Amazon's going down? No, dude. They have a business model that is really smart, which is F everyone else. I win. And in my mind, when I think about Amazon, I think, how could I do that? How could I be like that? I can't. I, I can't imagine being so obsessed with world domination that I can't stop taking over everything. It's just not my nature. John F. Kennedy, who is not my favorite person, who somehow made the best presidents of all time, uh, even though Bay of Pigs and a bunch of other crap happened, um, he did say, he did have some good aspects to him. And the one, the best thing he ever did, which he probably didn't even write, uh, was say, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Um, this morning... I try to get rid of the Keurig. We have a Keurig downstairs. We have another coffee pot, too. So we can make our own coffee. My dad, who's an older guy, oh, no way you're getting rid of the Keurig. I told him, Keurigs are banned in Germany, at least in offices in Germany, and Keurigs are awful for the environment. Can't you make a freaking cup of coffee? Nope. I asked him to do something for the world, which was stop wasting plastic, stop using Keurigs, and he said no. A long time ago I talked about this, and I'm pretty sure that all my second favorite stalkers, you know, my first favorite stalker is Taylor Swift, but she's not my stalker anymore, but she used to be. Um, my, my, my second favorite stalkers are the NSA people and the FBI and uh, Homeland Security is like, they're, they're the main ones that um, run the whole deal. They're who coordinate everyone. Um, how do I know that? Because I know them. Hi guys. So, I asked them a long time ago, stop doing this. They ignored me. Do they all have big trucks? Not all of them, but a lot of them do. Um, a lot of them don't freaking care. Here's the thing. According to Sirach, if you see an intelligent person, rise early to visit him. Let your foot wear out his doorstep. Some of y'all, like a NSA guy, every time I got around him, he wanted to talk to me about something. Like, um, about, um, machine learning or, uh, uh, he's a lot better at math than me, but we would, we would talk about, uh, computer stuff and, uh, he'd, we'd bounce ideas off each other. Like when, he, cause he thought I was smart. So he wanted to, he wanted to talk to me about things. 
I could tell, like, he was, like, waiting for that day that we were going to be together so he could talk to me. Some of y'all don't want to talk to me at all, and you're mostly afraid of me, and you don't know what to do. I'm sure other people are afraid, too. But what I think you should be doing is wearing at my doorstep, asking for advice, and um, trying to figure out what we can do to save ourselves. The problem is, people aren't asking what they can do for their country, they're asking what their country can do for them. They're, we live in a Keurig world. We don't live in a world where people think about what they do. If I keep talking about this over and over again, what I'm saying is going to uh, fall on deaf ears, because y'all are going to get bored of it. It's because according to Sirach, <laughs> the wise remain silent until the right moment. But a boasting fool misses the right moment. I'm sure you guys were wondering, you're still wondering what that little thing in my painting is that you can't figure out. It's Kairos. K-I-Rose. Kairos. Kairos means timing in Greek. And we had to lie to me for a long time and make me think that Katy Perry was Alex Daddario and um, do a lot of things that kind of set me off course because Kairos, it wasn't ready yet. Now it's ready. You guys can continue following Donald Trump. And what I'm telling you is that guy's an evil clone. We made him. And we really, really, really like him. It's, is it weird that I love evil clones? It's so weird. Like, my favorite clones are all evil. They're like, oh, I'm an evil clown. It's so weird. I know it's so weird. But I actually do like like evil clones. Um, I, I don't think Taylor Swift's actually an evil clone. I just think she's a different. She's... A lot of people aren't either good or bad. Um... I know she was on my list. I don't think Barack Obama's an evil clone. I actually kind of think Donald Trump is actually an evil clone. Even though he's both. Like, I think I could like him in real life. Uh, that's what, how he got to where he is. Is because he's likable in real life. Does not the dew give relief from the scorching heat, so a word is better than a gift? I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Mostly because Barack Obama. Uh, and then it continued and continued and continued. It's been years since I did an incredible task of actually making money off music through the freaking internet. Probably because I starved myself, which had gave me more attention to start with. Um, but I haven't been paid for anything I do. Um, so I don't have any money, but I still want to give. That's my nature. Um... I can't help but want to give things to people. And what I want to give you is my advice. My advice is stop sitting there and trying to figure out whether or not the cultural coordinator, Curly, whatever name from the Blackfeet tribe, is right about whether or not we killed a fifth of them. Uh, stop trying to figure out whether or not uh, what I've done is counts as a threat against the president or against whatever. Um, whether, try to figure out whether or not this counts as shouting fire in a theater. Uh, it's not shouting fire in a theater. It's shouting fire in a theater when the theater's on freaking fire, dude! Start listening to my words. And let me see my girls. So I love you guys. Like, I swear to God, you don't understand how much I love Lizzie Grant. Um, and the reason that I have to, like, go out and tell her that is because she knows how much I love Alex is my best friend, but Lizzie will be my best friend, because um, let's face it, I think that some of us are really, really good together, like when we're like all in a group and like we're all laughing together and we're all having fun, that's when we're um, best, uh, but um, naturally, like my nature is Alex is my best friend, like I have to call her on my shell phone. <laughs> Like, I have to be around her. Like, the fact that I can't be around her just kills me because we are so funny together. <sighs> I miss you guys. Alright, well, that's it for Friday prayer. 
hope you guys are thinking about what you do.